Before, when I was a little kid, I would go to the local game store and beg my parents to buy me a game. They would buy it for me. Then once we arrived back home, I would read whatever was on the back of the box. Then open it to see the disc that would hold all of my enjoyment within. I would then put the disc into my console, and play the game, finish it, and then do it all over again. But nowadays, as I got older, I would buy games, play some of that, then buy another game, play a couple of hours of that as well, and then the cycle continues. Instead of finishing my games, I would forget about them and play something else. This way of gaming has caused my backlog to expand intensely. Most people that are watching this right now have probably experienced this as well. You buy the game, never finish it, then feel bad because you never finish the game. Which is why in this video I'll be teaching you how to dropkick your backlog like a wrestler. Based on the definitions from Oxford languages, a backlog which is a noun, is an accumulation of uncompleted work or matters needing to be dealt with. So now that we know the meaning of what a backlog is, what can be considered as a backlog? Well, simple answer, it differs from person to person. One person could consider their backlog as a bunch of games that they haven't played for years or months. Another one could consider any game they bought as their backlog. For me, personally, any game that I buy is considered as a backlog right away. I just don't play them. I have no time. I have other games I want to play. Simple as that. I think I need to go find help. Now, when you try to complete your backlog, there are a bunch of things that you need to know beforehand. First of all, try not to subscribe to any game catalog, such as PS Plus, Game Pass, Nintendo Online, as you get many games to play, which might make you not play any of your backlog games, because you'll just be spending your time playing those games instead. And now this one is gonna, it's gonna annoy a lot of you people. Stay away from online multiplayer games. No Valorant, no Overwatch, no COD, no Fortnite, because then you're gonna be playing those games and then you're gonna miss out on all of your other games and then feel bad because you never played your games. And anyway, who likes these games? I think I pissed a bunch of people off. Now that we know where to start, we need to know why a person has a backlog. Well, there are multiple reasons. Someone might lose interest quickly, have no time because of school or work, a bunch of new releases coming out, or FOMO, which is the fear of missing out. But I assure you, having a backlog is pretty normal, since people might not have the time to do the things they love. For example, I love playing video games. There are a bunch of games I haven't even finished or even touched since I bought them. Now that we've talked about the boring part, let's talk about the interesting parts. Where can a person log their backlog? There are many places to put your backlog. Simple notebook or notes on a mobile phone. There are also websites that can help you keep track of your backlog. I have used three different websites since I've started trying to complete my backlog. The first was GOG Galaxy, or GOG Galaxy. If you favor your aesthetics over features, then it's your best choice. You can log games simply by searching them and marking them as owned. But keep in mind that some games might not be available for you to backlog. I have two games, one which is called Faye and the other one which is called Blue Fire, that weren't available for me to backlog when I bought them. You can create tags to label the games however you want. I used to add tags to show what consoles these games are on, and if I've completed them or not. The second one I used was a website called GG App. The logging is pretty much the same, but this one, instead of marking it as owned, you can choose the status of it, if you finished it, if you are currently playing it, if you've given up on it, shelved it, or 100% completed the game. You're also able to review or rate a game out of 5. If the game is in your backlog, you can just tag it as backlog. In order for you to put your game in categories, you can make a list and add the game on it. If you've got an opinion on the game, you can write a review and piss a bunch of people off. The one that I'm currently using and is my favorite out of all of them is Backlog. Have you heard of Letterboxd, the movie logging website? Backlogged is the game version of it. You can log your game based on whether you've played them, 100% of them, when did you finish them, rate them, you can pretty much log every aspect of the game. You can even choose how you obtain the game. If you want to categorize your games, you can create a list, like the last option. If you have your eyes on a game, you can click push list, so you can keep track of the games you want to buy later. As you can see, here's my account. I have many games that I backlog, but I have finished many other games, and it seems like I'm playing 30 games at the moment, which is it's very weird to do, but you can choose whatever website you want to use. I'll have them linked in the description. Just sign up and you're in. How you complete a backlog? Well, you're probably thinking, I'll just play the games and then finish my backlog. Well, it's not that simple to be honest. Before I tell you about how we're gonna complete the backlog, I just want you guys to know that when you play a game, think of it as a new experience and not something that's weighing you down. And also, when you play the game, get comfortable. Take your time, no need to rush. The other games will be waiting. 
When you play games, it's important to play games in different genres. Because if you play games in the same genre, you'll most likely be burned out after playing them. Just think about it. Let's say you play a bunch of puzzle games back to back. You'll never want to pick up a game again, since you got bored. Another thing I recommend is to not play games in a series back to back. For example, Final Fantasy. Let's say I'm trying to complete the Final Fantasy series. Instead of playing the games back to back, you could play an installment or two, and then play a game from a completely different genre and a different series. Since if you don't and you keep playing these games, you're most likely going to get burned out again, since these games are long JRPGs. Now if you have trouble choosing your next game, I have a bunch of ways you can pick your game right away. You could ask your friends, for example you could give them 10 games that you would like to play next and ask them, which one do you think I should play? Then check the amount of people who picked the games, and the highest one is the one they should probably go play. And if you have no friends, you can decide by using a roulette. And if you're a person who doesn't want to have any fun, you can choose a normal plain number generator. You could also pick something you usually wouldn't play. <laughs> Now, if there is a game that you don't like, what are you gonna do? Well, there are multiple things you can do. You could either drop the game and keep it, because maybe one day you might want to play it, or you could give it away to someone else by selling it, trading it, or just giving it as a gift, so someone else that wants the game can experience it and have fun themselves. Now that we've pretty much learned everything about the backlog, there's just one more thing that we need to know. How to limit a backlog from increasing? Well, simple answer, you can. Since the backlog will always be increasing as new releases come. But there are ways to slow the increasing of your backlog. Whenever you see a deal, instead of buying the game right away, tell yourself that if this game is already on sale, it might be on sale later on. It might be cheaper even. Another way to slow the rate is to just know that the game is never gonna go anywhere. You're gonna be able to play it later on. Although I've helped you, I mean hopefully, the most important thing to know is, have fun while you complete these games. Oh damn, Undertale is 70% off?